Okay, so we're into recursion now, a uh, very difficult topic, um, one it takes a while to get your head around, and this homework was the first really challenging one for me, although I'm told it's one of the easier recursion problems. It's known as the array average, and basically we want to find the average of an array um, using recursion rather than um, a more simple <laughs> means. So, um, a few things to explain here. First of all, I've pre-written um, the array itself. Um, we'll be prompting the user to enter the size of the array, and then creating the array in the heap rather than the stack. Um, that This uh, pointer here is, starts pointing at null, then we create um, our array in the heap memory using this. Basically it's a little bit of practice of dynamic memory allocation which is uh, addressed in later sections of the course. Um, I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone by doing it. So after the users entered their values for their array we're going to call our function which will return an average of type double. Um, it's important that the return is double, but um, it doesn't matter about the int my array or the length um, value. So um, you've got to think very carefully about the base case. Um, it should be quite intuitive. Uh, essentially, if the length of our array equals one, then we return the first element in our array, which is um, index 0, array index 0. Um, here's where it gets a little bit tricky. Um, basically, when we're doing recursion, we have to kind of take a leap of faith um, that um, when we make a call, um, let's say in, in this case, uh, our array is uh, 1, 3, uh, 4, 6, and 7. And that means our length, the number of elements entered, um, is 5. So uh, when we make a call to this uh, function, um, we're starting from length equals 5. Um, and we're trying to use the array and the length to calculate the average. Um, so the first thing we're doing here is getting a value called uh, total, a variable total of type double, and that is calling the array average, um, but it's calling it using recursion, and basically um, we're calling, um, we start from length 5, but then we're making a call to the average at length 4, the average at length 3, the average at length 2, and we're going back and back and back again until we reach length is equal to 1, at which point we're returning this value here. However, after we've done that, that's not what we're returning alone. We're going to go back to the other calls and return the actual average um, somewhere down here. Um, so, we know um, only that the we're getting an average for the uh, length minus one call and then we're going to take that total or that average and the reason I've called this variable total is because we're going to um, take it and multiply it by that length minus one. Um, that kind of means that w this total is really getting us an average so in that case it's our five elements or our four elements divided by the length four. 
and uh, three elements divided by uh, f uh, our length, which is uh, three, yeah. and so on. Um, we then take that um, average, multiply it by length minus one, and that kind of gives us a raw total before we do the division. Um, if we want to get um, our average with our extra element, we will add the um, the index of the current element, which is my array length minus one to our total, and our return, which is here, will be this total divided by length of the array. So. Um, rather than use these these values here, um, I'm going to take the values from the example. So, how many values you want in your array? We'll take five, please. Our values are one, eight, two, ten, and three. And the average for this is four point eight. Um, hopefully, this explains the array average. Um, and recursion in a little detail, but I would encourage anyone learning recursion to sign up for the course and listen to Dr. Ibrahim's far superior explanations. Thank you.